Hello, I'm Douglas Miranda, and today I will explain how to define local design constructs after checking clashes. The open flows products for wastewater and stormwater networks have the capability to design automatically gravity networks. So this tool is available for sewer cards, storm cards, sewer storm, sewer gems, and also for Open Roads Designer. Open Roads Designer has natively uh, the capabilities uh, from storm cad product, but limited to 100 inlets. But you can also include the unlimited license for storm cad capabilities, or even activating directly through its interface the SiraCAD SilverStorm or SiraGems functionalities. Uh, first, talking about the design constraints, no matter if we is using open roads or using open flows uh, directly through the standalone interface, the Design constraints are available within the analysis menu, like we can see in this picture at the right side. Uh, you can define uh, constraints for gravity pipes, node, and inlets, such as velocity cover, structure stress, and etc. All this information uh, can be applied globally or individually by the elements. Accessing the, the default design constraints under the analysis menu, you will see just the global constraints. If you'd like to see the global and uh, table elements to define local constraints, you can go to the alternative within the analysis menu and then check in the design alternative with double click you can open this second picture where you have on the bottom part of the window a table containing gravity pipes or gravity nodes or inlets if you activate for uh, gravity pipes the column specify local pipe constraints you will define a different constraints from the global numbers this is very interesting to define different cover constraints where you use no crossing structures. And this is our focus of this presentation. So see uh, know the elements that you'd like to define constraints differently of the global values. You can select the conduit or the node like manhole, transition, outfall, and modify for conduits the specify local pipe constraint to true or for nodes the local pipe matching constraints to true as well. Imagine now a situation where you need to, to design a, a gravity pipes, no matter if it's wastewater or a stormwater collection network. And this first option it's to check the interferences using the visual method, uh, adding uh, a CAD or a GIS file for, for the other network or the other structures that would like to check the clash as a background layer. In this situation, you need to know the crossing element invert elevation, and then you can simply select the element you'd like to set uh, local design constraints and, and change that both uh, attributes are described on the list of the slide. The second option is using uh, the 3D model, uh, now applying the Open Roads Designer interface, and then you can uh, use the Open Roads Designer tools to to delineate, to lay out your network, and also to lay out the 
other utilities network or even importing if you have the existing information from external uh, if external files like GIS databases or or the CAD files having all this the subsurface networks modeled you can run the clash detection tool within Open Road Designer and then you can easy in a easier way apply the local design constraints so let's see how we can do this so running Overall Designer, you can first activate your OpenFlows product, in this case Syracad. It will create and add all the functionalities of the StormCAD, uh, sorry about the Syracad. We have under the layout tab all the network placement tools. You can place elements using uh, or the default or your user defined feature definitions to have a better uh, visualization. You have all the CRCAD functionalities like flex table, uh, sanitary load control center, prototypes, model builder, load builder, and etc. After having your network to be designed set up, you can add the crossing structures now here as a reference having a zoom we can see the structure to be designed in orange the drainage network in, uh, in cyan and the water network in dark blue the next step is to run the design scenario using the CIRCAD uh, calculation options in this case, it's the solver to use the default design constraints. At this moment, I don't know where is the interference. Running the design scenario, we will have our first uh, conduits, diameters, and nodes invert elevations. Opening a uh, view, we can set up a 3D view, uh, applying a uh, uh, renderization using the smooth render, we can see in the second window, in the second view, the sanitary and the storm water networks. Now we can use our first uh, result to run our Clash 2. So opening a view to see our networks, we can uh, we can define a multiple view to a better view our our clash detection results within the tools menu running the utilities conflict tool we can select using the feature definition the clash between the storm water network with a, so, a soft conflict equals to 15 centimeter in this case against the waste water network running this tool we will see the conflicts you uh, as a uh, 3D element uh, like a sphere that can be saw on the 3D, on the 2D plan, and also in a profile. Using the hydraulic profile just between these elements, we can check what's happening after creating our profile. We can publish this profile in the in another view firstly this profile will show our network and we can add the crossing elements activating the 3d cut view 
firstly, the profile will have uh, our crossing element, including the interference sphere. Here we have uh, 10 times exaggeration. Let's change to 2. And then we can better see our crossing elements. Now we can run again our design project, but setting up a uh, local design constraints for the for this conduit. Uh, we are going to define a local design to set a minimum cover design by measured our desired cover. So it's 3.11 meters. Uh, but let's add more 15 centimeters, 3.26. Looking at the big picture, it's a project that's better to define this uh, conduit crossing below the stormwater network. And automatically, you see updated our profile. Now let's check again the clash detection tool, erasing the sphere. After erasing, we can update our profile and running again the utilities conflict tool let's open again the 3d view and processing again we will not have again this fear if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel thank you and see you next time